Hey, what's going on guys? Xavier Cottle here, and today we're going to be adding a new face to this channel, someone I'm pretty excited to add, and that's Wes Schweitzer. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I had no idea who this guy was until this week. Um, he was a free agent signing for Washington this year, and he was the highest graded guard in week 11. So he had an excellent performance versus the Bengals in week 11. He looked really talented. He looks incredibly quick. He looks like maybe the quickest offensive lineman on this whole this whole Washington team. He's definitely fa faster than Brandon Scherf, I'll say that much. Uh, and you'll see from film, like, this guy flies. He flies from first level to second level. Uh, he's physical at the point of contact, especially against the linebackers. He snaps head back. Uh, he, he's really good at that. He has above average strength, uh, especially moving people in the run game. He looked pretty good in the run game. Um, and that being said, this is a Bengals squad who uh, the coaches refuse to play Geno Atkins. So a lot of the matchups, like a lot of these guys just aren't uh, very high caliber of players, but they're still defensive linemen in the NFL. And you're going to see, I mean, you're going to get matchups like this for any offensive lineman every year. But that could be a reason he was the highest graded guard is what I'm, what I'm trying to get at. But he looked really talented. Just wait till you see. Um, but without further ado, let's get into this video here. First play here, we're going to have him pulling. This is going to be a play action pass protection. We're going to pull him over here to 94. Um, his footwork initially doesn't look too good, but um, the substance is there. He makes a really good block. He breaks down before getting to 94, Make sure he can secure that block and just drives him out. Let's see it. Now, the footwork doesn't look like much of an issue there initially, mostly because you really can't see. If you slow it down, kind of fall steps. He doesn't just open directly up, bringing that foot out. You know, getting at least six inches um, on your initial step, he kind of just picks it up, puts it back a little bit. That's a fall step. You don't want to do that. But he does a really good job breaking down here, mirroring his matchup, and securing this block. That's a great, that's a great block from him. Sitting back, even if he would have spun here, he would have caught his spin. Yeah, he breaks down here, sits back, keeps him in front of him. That's just a really good job there from him. So this next play here, they're, what Washington's going to do, they're going to fake this jet sweep and then hit it right up the middle. <clears throat> so two blocks are really pivotal here. Pivotal. And it's going to be this tackle, this guard, versus 76, and it's going to be this center and this guard versus 99. And here you're going to see a really crispy double team from the center and the left guard, Wes. Um, he's going to be physical on the play. Wes is going to be really physical. You're going to see him not stop driving his feet until that whistle blows. This is just a really great example of what I'm talking about when I said he's a physical player. Let's see it. See, he's still blocking, still blocking, being physical, moving his feet. And he didn't stop until the whistle was blue. Um, so that tells me he has a high motor. A lot of these plays shows he has a high motor. And like I said, he has above average strength. He gets a good push off the ball against somebody that's not the best defensive lineman. So that's always good to see. So he gets staggered in, initially. Um, that was just a really good rep from him. That was an excellent rep. Kind of exactly what you want to see from a guard. So this next play here is going to be another example of a really good double team between his center and him. Uh, they're going to double team 99 here. 57 is going to flow front side. His center is going to be kind of late on that read, but it really doesn't affect the play. And West does a great job of once his center leaves, of taking over this block, walling him off, and giving his running back somewhere to run off his hip. Let's see it. Yeah, excellent play there. That was really good. <clears throat> and the fact that he continued to get movement once his center left tells me, uh, like I said, he, he's a pretty strong guy. He's physical. You see him fighting there the entire time. As soon as he gives him a little bit of leeway trying to fight towards the ball, he just keeps going. He takes over, overpowers, and that's just a really good rep from him. So this next play was really well blocked by every, pretty much these three guys for sure, and this guy right here. This guy is going to pull. He's going to hit 91. This is a tight end, keep in mind. This is a defensive end. And he absolutely licks 91. But even more impressive is this center guard duo. Him and Wes are going to absolutely wash 99 
way across the screen. This tackle is going to block down, hit 57, wash him too. And this running back is pretty much just going to walk right into this end zone. Let's see it. Absolutely wash. Great block there. That was, I mean, I know this is Wes's film analysis. I get that. But this man absolutely smacked 91. My gosh, that's a tight end too. I love seeing that. I love seeing that. Boom. Yeah, get you some, 91. That was nice. That was nice. And then, I mean, like I said, they built the wall. I put it in slow motion. This is what I'm talking about, building a wall. Most people think Donald Trump. I think of football. Here's the wall initially. This guy comes down, gets right on his hip to build that. So this guy, the, the linebacker would have to hit this tackle and fight through that block to stop this play from working just because of how much movement Wes and his center gets on this nose guard. See how he gets right on his hip. He knows he's going to come block him. The 57 can't really do anything because uh, 99 ends up in his lap anyways. But that was just a really great play from the Washington football team there, especially from Wes. So this next play you're going to see is just going to be a really excellent example of what I was talking about, his speed. He's really fast. He's really agile. Here he's asked to zone block. He's going to have to reach and get this guy that's in this uh, shaded one-eyed kind of thing. Uh, I guess one... I'm not sure that how people like to label that in the NFL. There's a lot of different ways you can what you can call this guy, but we're just going to call him uh, one technique. He shaded here towards West, but West is going to be asked to step, take him over, and then zone block him. And he's going to do every single thing I said plus get about five yards of movement on it. Let's see it. A really good job there getting on him. Now he's driving. Yeah, that was an excellent block, man. That is just perfection, especially in his own situation there. You cannot ask for much more, um, especially because if this block worked a little bit better over here, this tight end did a bit better of a job. Um, this block right here affected the linebacker, so 24 is going to be able to get vertical if the, line, if the tight end did a better job and fit right through this gap right here and get gone. But unfortunately, it didn't happen, but that was a really, really great block from Wes. So this next play here is going to be a double team with Wes and his tackle here. And Wes does a good job of being the stuntman. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is Geno Atkins, um, number 97. But what, what he's going to do here, he's going to take his initial step and he's going to start chopping his feet and allow his tackle to catch up to him so they can get hip to hip on this double team. Um, and that's a really good job from him. He does, He takes that short fire step Starts chopping his feet just so this guy can't really just dart through here, giving 76 time to get hip to hip with him and get this double team going. And then once they get the double team engaged, they do an excellent job of moving this guy out of this gap. Let's see it. Slow motion, good step, chops him up, gives him time to get there. Secures this double team, and 41 knows where to follow. Sees this double team, sees how much movement it's getting, falls it down, and then hits to the outside. Um, that's a really great job uh, by this guard tackle duo. Uh, that, that's just perfect. That's exactly what you want to see. They get tons of movement. Um, and, I mean, their running back gets five yards before he's even touched. Uh, he has a full second and a half before anything's really even happening on this play. This is just a really great block there from them two. And it, it's it, it's was really cool to see to me that Wes has – that kind of technique. Now, I said his technique is a little bit flawed because it is. Uh, some things he's really undisciplined in. But there's areas like his combo blocking that he's really good at. And that's, you know, if he's bad in one area, it's pretty good to at least be able to make up for it in areas that need that need to be perfect. Especially in the NFL, combo blocking is one of the, the most, if not the most important kind of blocks in the NFL. And there you just saw an excellent job of him and his tackle. So this next play is another great double team between him and his center. Uh, you'll notice this double team recurring theme because this is what Washington loves to do. They love to run zone. Uh, just these quick hitters up the middle. And I, I don't blame them because they have a really good interior three, especially um, Wes and Brandon over here. That's really two. That's a great guard duo in the NFL. Um, and like I said, Wes was the highest graded guard this week. 
He's about 27, 28, something like that. So he's still in his prime. He's still got a few great years um, or great years to come because, like, I didn't really even know this guy. Uh, I've heard his name, but I, I never heard anything, like, spectacular about him until this week. And now I'm seeing why because he is really quick. Like I said, he has, I guess, decent technique. I don't want to call his technique bad. It's decent. And then he's physical. He's a really physical player. You see how, like, hard he plays. You see his hands. You know, he's trying to beat people down in the run game. And right here, you're just going to see another great example. They're going to run this guy right into these linebackers. Let's see it. Yeah. Uh, and, I mean, right here, this running back really doesn't even get tackled. He just kind of falls um, looking for room. And he almost gets it. If he would have been a little bit more patient there, he probably would have broke that. That probably would have been a really big run right there, but he doesn't. Um, he gets kind of, you know, he's kind of like, oh, I'm going to get tackled if I don't go, if I don't go. But if he would have just waited, that wall builds right here backside, and he would have had a big, big gain. But still yet, that's a really great double team from Wes in 73. Uh, moving, and he gets off on the linebacker, making sure he doesn't get to flow through backside and make a play. So that was just an excellent job from them too. So this next play here, is a great example of how fast he is. Um, make sure you don't blink on this play because you will miss him. You're going to see him take a great step, take a great angle onto 56. Yeah, just, I mean, like I said, the guy is just quick. He is quick. Gets up there fast. He gets there in a hurry, and I love to see that. Anytime he goes from first to second level, he gets there in a hurry. Uh, 56 almost does a really good job of throwing him off, but he did just enough to get up there, disrupt 56, making sure he doesn't get back on this play and make this tackle. Yeah, that that's just an excellent job. Like I said, you don't find guards this this fast very often. I mean, that's quick. There's not many guards that can get there and get there that fast. But Wes is an exception. He's really quick. Like I said. Um, and it's going to be fun. I'm going to be watching this guy a little bit more next week just to see how he plays in the, in the games he has coming up. So this next play is another great representation of how quick he is and how physical he is at the second level. Remember I mentioned that late, late, uh, a little bit in the, earlier in the video. Now you're really going to see it. What he's going to do is he's going to take a good step. He's going to get a hand on 99, let his tackle take over. and He's going to work to 57 and once he gets to 57, he absolutely smacks him. Um, and this is where that speed comes in. Because when you're 300-something pounds and you're quick, all that weight coming with you is going to hit hard. And right here, 57 felt him. Let's see it. Boom. Great hit there and secures the block. That was just an excellent job. That was that was the best block I've seen from a mall game, hands down. Um, he looked like a beast right there, and and that hit, man, that looks that looks vicious. I can't lie. I know 57 felt that. That was him with the helmet. That was him with the helmet. Boom, his helmet right on there. 57 stunned right now. He's seeing stars. Dude stumbling back to the <laughs> back to the huddle. But yeah, really good job there, and a great way to stay with the block, move his hips around, and secure secure his running back a lane there. Yeah, that was just an excellent job from him. So this next play you're going to see is a great job in pass protection. Um, he does a really good job here of not really having a man on him. Uh, he, he does have someone lined up on him, but his slide protection is over here. So you're going to see him do a really good job of any, setting to the inside and making sure his center can take over on number 70 and then getting back over here, hitting 58, and knocking him on the ground. Let's see it. Has his hand out there. Gets the hand on his shoulder just for good measure. And then rotates over there and puts 58 on the ground. That's a really great job of pass protection. Like I said, you can't ask for much better than that. That's perfect. That's exactly what you want from a guard. Um, especially against a guy, I'm pretty sure that's Carl Lawson, if I'm not mistaken. I'm almost positive, and he's having an absolute breakout season. Um, so it's good that he's aware enough to get over there before he can make a move on his tackle and put him on the ground. So this next play is what all defensive ends slash outside linebackers hate, and that's getting trapped. That's get having a guard pull and just hit you square in your helmet. 
And West does a really excellent job of that. He takes a good step here. Now, like I said earlier, he didn't take a great step. This right here, he takes a good step. He opens up. He gets going. I mean, he gets going fast. And you can tell that this guy is quick just by the way he runs and hits this outside linebacker right here. Um, he stays square with him the whole time. He makes good contact. Gets this guy way off balance off of his feet. Um, and this is just a really good rep from him. Let's see it. Good pull. Gets there. Bam. And that's a good hit. That's a that's a really good hit. Knock 55 off balance. Um, he does a good job of eating it there. Getting down and absorbing that, absorbing that hit. But that, that was just a really good rep from Wes. Um, and that's something he should be doing a lot more often because he is quick, dude. Like I'm saying, he, he's fast. They need to get him out here. They need to get him pulling, get him into space because he does a really excellent job of making blocks in space. So this next play um, is just a great example of him doing more than he is asked to do. Um, 76 is locked out over here. Uh, so he's going to be coming across the formation, hitting him, and then going to 55 and letting his running back run right up this seam. Uh, like I said, he doesn't have to hit 76 right here uh, unless it was the play design. May maybe he does. Maybe he is supposed to. But it, that is 76 versus Brandon Scherf. Uh, I'm not sure. If I am a offensive line coach, you know, talking about this play, I'd be like, Brandon has this guy. He's nowhere near his kind of talent level. So I would just go straight to linebacker. But either way, he goes straight, hits this guy, and then moves straight to 55. And he does an excellent job here clearing a lane for Gibson to run. Let's see it. Oh, yeah, the center. My fault. The center takes over. That makes more sense. Uh, when I first watched this play, yeah, 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 I, I got it now. So he comes over, hits him. Yeah, that's excellent. That's excellent. That's a really good play design. Wow, what a cut. What a cut by Gibson. I'm not even sure if that play is is designed like this. Either way, what a play. Yeah, he gets straight up, hits this defensive tackle, goes straight to this linebacker. Oh, yeah, it's designed that way. Yeah, this was a really intriguing play. I saw this the first time and re didn't really quite understand what was happening. Now I kind of see what's happening. Yeah, that's a really great job. That's just an excellent job of blocking. And like I said, notice how Wes gets from this first level to second level in a hurry. 55 throws his hands off him, but he's already done enough uh, to really disrupt the play. That's an excellent job from Wes. But yeah, that's all the plays they got for you guys. Um, I'll talk a little bit about Wes since he's a new guy on the channel. Uh, he, he is an excellent player from what I've seen. From what I've seen this game versus the Bengals, he looked really good. Um, that being said, I haven't heard anything about him up until this game. Uh, the Bengals' defensive line isn't fantastic. They're not They're not great. Uh, I'll say that much. Uh, especially since they won't play Geno Atkins. I don't get that. Geno Atkins is much more talented than pretty much every defensive tackle they have, but he still won't get playing time. I think that's a coaching thing. I think the coaching, uh, the, the guy there, he just really don't want to play these guys uh you saw where carlos dunlap went he goes over to the seahawks first game back he has two sacks so not sure what's going on there still yet he had an excellent game like i said the highest graded guard in week 11 he looked like at this game there was a lot of impressive plays i saw from him and i'm going to have my eye on, on him for the next couple games for sure just to see how he plays and how he plays against better competition but that's all i got for you guys if you like the content Drop a like, drop a subscribe, I post videos like this all the time. And until next time, guys, peace.